Hi everyone, today is Monday, the 1st of June. So take away Sunday, and put there, Monday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Well done. So, on Sunday, it was the last day of May, which is the 31st of May. So, we're going to take that away. We're going to change May with June, a new month. It's the first day of June. So it's one. Good. Okay, if you look out your window today, tell me what your weather is like. Is it sunny? Is it partly cloudy? Is it raining? My day is sunny. Okay, so we moved into a new month, but we're also moving into a new season. So we're going from autumn to winter. There we go. Let's do our seasons. Summer, autumn, winter, spring are the seasons of the year. Summer, autumn, winter, spring are the seasons of the year. And now we are in winter. So now it's going to start to get a bit colder. Okay, so the 1st of June, Monday. Guys, this week we're looking at safety. Now what is safety? Safety is things that you do at your house that won't let you get hurt and won't let you have to go to the hospital. So the first thing, who of you has a pool at home? Who's got a pool at home or in their complex? Okay, so if you've got a pool at home, you must be very careful around the pool because if you don't know how to swim, you could drown and that's not good. So, if you have a pool at your house or in your complex, there must always be a fence around it. See the fence? That means that babies and people that can't swim can't go into the pool without someone who is with them. So that's why there's a fence. Now a lot of people also have small babies at their house and that's why they need a pool net over. So then when the baby falls in like that, it doesn't matter because it can't get to the water. It's on top of the net. So a fence and a net for when you have a pool. And then the third thing is someone to watch to make sure that you are safe in the pool. So if you don't have mommy and daddy or someone who can watch you, there's someone called a lifeguard and they can make sure that you're also safe when you're in the pool. So you must be very careful around water, guys. Don't go swimming when there's no one there with you. There must be someone to watch you and to help you if something were to happen. So a lifeguard or mommy and daddy can also watch you while you swim. There must be a net over your pool and there's also be a fence around your pool. So that if someone is there that can't swim, at least they won't be able to get to the pool. So remember, if you want to go swimming, remember to ask mommy and daddy first before you go swimming and to make sure they check on you. Bye guys! Hi everyone! Because we're doing safety this week, today we're going to be making a fire. Not a real fire, a fire from tissue paper and sticks. So I just found some sticks in my garden. Going to glue them on the piece of paper. That way you make a fire. So glue there. Need quite a lot of glue because it is sticks that are heavy. So just gonna stick your sticks anywhere you like on your paper. You can break them up if they're a bit big. So it's a bit big, so I'm just gonna break it. Small pieces. One more there. Okay, now you're going to use tissue paper, yellow tissue paper, red, and orange. And you're going to tear them up into these little pieces. I've already broke to tear, tore mine up, so you can just stick them on now. So now you use normal glue. If you have tissue paper, you can use just normal colored paper, or if you don't have colored paper, you can just cut, paint a piece of white paper. Just put glue all over and you're just going to take pieces of your torn up tissue paper and just stick it 
everywhere on your page until it looks like a fire. Okay, when you're done sticking all your pieces of paper, there is your fire. Wow, well done guys, that was fun. Thank you for watching.